up guys it's your girl Manamix and I am back with more Attack on Titan and if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel go ahead and subscribe I'm here you're here let's be here together and down below in the description box I've got my Patreon link it's patreon.com forward slash Manamix and it's where I have all of my clear reactions and my full link timer reactions as well as some select early reaction um going on over there so if you want to support you can head on over there and take a look at the tiers if not you want to do some shit for free go ahead and subscribe for free because that shit is free and i'm almost at 10k and i do appreciate it if you join the club over here we watch a lot of things we watch k-drama we watch anime we watch live action we play games i do things i do things that i like i talk about collectibles see the wall behind me i like it but yeah so last time on attack on titan <clears throat> If you thought I changed my mind about Gabby, you're wrong. Don't give a shit. This is what happens when people don't listen. This is what happens when people can't sit down and think before they react. Especially in her situation, surrounded by all this destruction and your first inclination is not like, oh, I gotta find my family. Oh my gosh, I gotta find my friend's family. We gotta make sure my, my kin are safe. People are safe before we launch a counterattack. No, your first inclination is to run out there with your little ovaries hanging out, your little tentacles hanging out, trying to be the big woman and go up in there and then do what? You killed Sasha. <clears throat> You killed my little potato girl. And that's why they curbed, stomped your ass inside of that uh, balloon thingy. I don't, I don't, I don't, still don't know what the fuck they're called. <laughs> but that's why your ass got curb stomped. And you deserved every ounce of those curb stompings because you're stupid. You climb your ass on the top. Like you climb your ass inside of an enemy aircraft. To do what? You're lucky those grown ass men didn't just shoot you in the face. You're lucky that they were mad enough that they wanted to beat your ass. And then you get up there and, and Zeke is gonna do this and we're gonna get revenge and la da 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 and just wait till Zeke find out and where is Zeke's ass sitting in here like, bitch, what you doing? Shit, miscalculations. Oh, God. And now you're sitting there looking stupid. Stupid! <laughs> I'm like, gosh. And I feel like if she was just listening to what they were trying to tell them before any of this shit popped off, just listening to Zeke, to Reiner, like listening to the people who were over there. But yeah, <clears throat> so that's exactly what happened. The jig is up. We found out that Aaron and Zeke were actually working together to combine forces, which is what I assumed that they were gonna do in the beginning, but I didn't understand why they were fighting and why they were sending people over. Like, I was confused. I was like, wouldn't it make more sense for the Eldians being oppressed under the Marleyan rule and the Eldians on the island to just join forces and have people leave and come over there? And they can just mind their business because at the end of the day, the Eldians on the island wanted to mind their business. There's a reason that the founding Titan and the person who had that shit over on Paradise Isle erased it from their memory so they can have a normal fucking life. No matter how you slice it, no matter how you slice it, the Marleans and the Eldians under the Marleans in this instance are the instigators. They had a chance to fix it, to make everybody equal. They chose not to. They chose to enslave the Eldians. They chose to make the ones who escaped enslavement the enemies. They chose to brainwash the ones there just so they can use them as military fodder to save their own skins. Like, no, no matter how you slice it. Setch it. Okay? Setch it. Go find somebody else who's, who's sympathetic to that. I'm not. You started this shit. You started the round two. No. <laughs> and so now I'm just wondering, what is the full plan? What are they going to do from here? Because <clears throat> Aaron has the Founding Titan, the Warhammer Titan, the Attack Titan. Um, Armin has the Colossal Titan. Zeke, the Beast Titan. You have Porco with the jaw titan um you don't know if if peak is alive and she has the cart titan i feel like i'm missing something i could have sworn that there were nine titans and not seven i 
I feel like I'm missing some. Um, but I'm just wondering, like, what is the full plan now? Because now you have everyone technically, it, the way it seems, everyone in the world, like the other countries, are going to be coming after the people on Paradise Isle who are just minding their fucking business. So I, I, I want to know what the full extent of the plan is. I want to know where we're going to go from here. And I want to know what the fuck y'all going to do about Gabby's old stupid ass. Not that she deserves, you know, not that they should just kill her, especially now that the plan is out. Like she's in the middle of this. Do you even want to take the time to explain it to her? Or do you just want to have her ass tied up in the corner looking stupid for the rest of the show? Like, because no matter what, right now, she's stupid. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into... Um, <clears throat> Season four, episode nine, which is episode 68, Brave Volunteers. Is that Armin? <clears throat> Colossal. Oh no, Aaron. He brought that bitch ashore. Like here, let's lay this down so we can, you know, figure it out for you. <laughs> oh my gosh you about to catch it sir cool bruh you should really think about that so stupid your ass is gonna die Mm-hmm. You sound like a messy bitch. <laughs> Look at my little Sasha Basha. First of all, I'm gonna need them to bring back the Armin. They're fighting somewhere else right now. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the female Titan, I forgot about her.
Because <clears throat> it would have just made sense for him to go there to do that from the beginning. Yeah, like, finish what he has to say. Mm hmm Well, what right now? What can you do? Like, what else is? What are the other options? Bruh. Hello. <laughs> You're gonna love it. I can't. Is that her or is that Armin? I can't tell. They look alike right now. I just like how they ask, like, why is your skin dark? Because they ain't never seen no black person. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Sasha's about to lose her shit. <laughs> I I can't I'm so happy they got rid of that hair Hmm. 
True. All they got to do is just leave you alone. Like, let whoever wants to leave, leave, and then call it a day. Hmm. Aaron's eyeball be killing me. Okay, so that's Armin. Thank you. That's all I need to know. Is that Armin? Aww. <laughs> but she loved food. Food is her love language. Oh, that made me cry. No, oh, that makes me sad. Bruh. That sounds like um an exaggeration. Nah, bruh. <laughs> wow. Look at her, still over there being stupid. Still being stupid. Being fucking stupid. 
I'm telling you, just go ahead and snap her little fucking neck and call it a day. I don't have time for it. Oh. Can't they wake her up? Child, the ripplage. I'm... Out of everything that's going on and everything you see, what is Gabby doing still sitting in there being stupid i'm telling you like y'all mm -mm. just dumb just seeing it. i still need to know like what is the plan this showing what happened before i appreciate it i wanted to know how how we got to where we are but now we are where we are and i want to know what's the plan going forward because at this point everybody's gonna be coming after you even though you did destroy the port for the Marleyans, are other people still coming? Because you can only pull the Titan trick once or twice. It's just like I have, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. <laughs> I have so many questions and like concerns. I'm gonna watch the previews because I have to. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Let me think for a second. Let me think for a second. After they got back, they being Zeke and Reiner, was it Zeke's plan to let Yelena go over there on one of the first ships so she can try to like reason with them so that they can start working together or was this a thing that happened because they just sent them over there all willy-nilly and she thought it would be a good idea for Zeke to do it like I I need a little more clarification on that I want to say that this was a plan of Zeke like once he went over there and saw how they did business I saw how they get down they were like listen well at this point we don't have the founding titan we can't go over there and wreck shop because now that they know how it works and they do know how it works, Aaron confirmed that he knew he just didn't tell anybody how it works. So they, they, they had, he, someone over there had the knowledge on how it worked. Um, so now that someone knows how it works, that there will be no way for them to go over there and actually win. Even if they had the hundred or the million people that they claim they had, if you got a hundred thousand titans or a million titans, colossal titans in the wall, supposedly that's how many there are, it's still a dandada. Like it's it's a rap. It is a rap. So I'm going with Zeke sent Yelena over there and she approached them and the idea. I just like seeing Sasha eat food, by the way. Sasha just loves food so much. Ah, <sighs> You knew she's going to enjoy that seafood. You knew it. And just, I, I want to see more about them learning how much they had to catch up. Because they didn't have any type of weapons like that. They only had um, cannons. Their ODM gear. Their swords. I think that's it. I don't remember them. They had flare guns. I don't remember them using actual guns um often 
I don't think. I can't remember. Um, but them learning about the world, learning about other people, learning about weapons and technological advances is they had so there was so much that they didn't know being on the island that they, they had no idea and so having these people open it up to them explain to them what's going on out there like the fight between us and them is not really an us and them situation which means the eldians on the island and the eldians um near the marlanes it's not an us and them situation so i'm actually glad that they're working together i just want to know like what's the end goal is the end goal to get all the eldians over on the island or is the end goal to get the eldians off the island and onto the mainland in some place that's secure and safe and where people ain't messing with y'all like, i'm trying to figure out what the end game is but um that's all i got for the rapidate and just once again fuck gabby <laughs> i just fuck gabby um in case you have forgotten I'm still, nope, still don't believe it, don't trust it, don't want to look at it, don't, nope. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Ciao. I'm telling you, like, she's hot garbage. Hot garbage water.